From food to fashion to a spin on fitness, see what's got people talking today on The Express. It's great to spurt local. On today's show, Design. West and Coast style. You see it become kind of mainstream. Mm, it is good. That's so good. The wedding bells. I've never tasted anything like that in my whole life. It showcases the sport to the lower mainland. The West Coast Curling Classic and the latest from Chef Rob Feeney. That's the plan down the road is to focus on more and more of the organic and local suppliers here. So I'm very excited about it. See that and more local expression. Welcome to The Express. I'm Johanna Ward in Vancouver. Now the BC Place has reopened. Football fans have had a chance to watch their team play at the Open Air Stadium. And on today's Big Versus Budget, our spender and our saver are tackling a football game. That's right. They're seeing the Lions play live at the stadium and at a local pub. Football season's heating up, so today we're looking at ways to take in a game. That's right, Ashley's heading to BC Place for a game, and I'm going to watch the Lions play at a local pub. Great way to kick off some fall savings, if you ask me. No way. Football's too exciting not to watch it live, so for me it definitely pays off to go to a game. I'm going big. And I'm going budget. I'm not a big football fan, but to be in BC Place and to be surrounded by super fans gives you a big experience. I didn't know a lot of people and I didn't know a lot about the game. Has he scored a touchdown yet? No. Everybody who sat next to me were cheering and filling me in as, as to what was going on. There's tons of things to see and do, from the concession to the beer stand, as well as the merchandise. So Put it on your hand and start clawing away, basically. Claw yeah. your neighbor. Go I'm not a die-hard Lions fan, so I don't want to invest in a ticket to tonight's game. That's why I'm heading to the Kingston Pub, where all the big Lions fans go to catch the game. Everybody high fives. People that you don't know, you're high fiving, and you get the same feeling as a big stadium, except it's a lot noisier. I love the big screen TVs. They're all over the pub, so I get a great view of the game, and they bring the beer right to my table. The great thing about watching the game at the pub is I can invite all my friends, including my friends who are on a budget like me. While I'm enjoying the experience, Ashley's learning more about the game from a season's ticket holder. I love coming to games, I love the Lions, just being in the stadium, uh, the whole fan experience. We're in a fight for first place, I tell ya! Everybody here is here to watch the game, so you don't have to come with a ton of friends. There's kind of a camaraderie with your section. Football games can feel long for new fans like Ashley, so it pays to have extra entertainment. There was the Sea Lions, there were the players coming in and off, there were play-by-plays, well worth the price of the tickets. It's the second half of the game, and I admit I'm still struggling to understand football. And what's going on right now? So I have to say, I love watching on a TV. I get the instant replay. For example, the commentator just explained that there was a fumble, a turnover, and that apparently was a game changer for the Lions. If you don't want to buy a ticket to the game, but you still want to be surrounded by super fans, there's always the tailgate party. Tailgating is just having a big party before the game. Live band, music, food, just uh, enjoying the ambience. Looks like you're turning into a real football fan, Bianca. Yep, gridiron football's really growing on me. I loved watching the game on TV. I basically learned about football over beers with friends, and the energy of the fans was unreal. I have to admit, your fans were great, but to be inside BC Play Stadium, to take in the atmosphere and the sideline entertainment was well worth the ticket price for me. Well, I guess one thing's for sure. See you at tailgate. Sticking to your budget, hey? Yep. You can get a whole list of pubs that show the Lions games live at the BC Lions website. Their next home game is October the 29th. Now, I wonder if the Cactus Club's newest location is on that list. That's right, this week they opened their 21st location in Abbotsford, giving chef Rob Feeney a whole valley of inspiration. 
Here at the brand new Abbotsford Cactus Club, staff are hurrying to get the food ready and out to the customers. Chef Rob Feeney says the idea behind the newest location is to keep it local. It's important for us to show support to local farmers. I've always been like that. I've always been that way. And, uh, you know, in a small little restaurant, it was big, but, but with the amount of people that we reach, because we're reaching thousands of people, it hits home because this whole local and sustainable only works when people buy the product. It wasn't until after the restaurant opened that Chef Feeney realized how many local food producers there really are in the community. I met a guy that runs a pepper farm, I ran another guy that has a cornfield, and I ran into another group of people that have berry farms. And I think for me it was one of those things where I thought, wow, this is like, not only, is, not only is it, do I know people outside of the restaurant, we got actual guests coming in that are actually growers. Linda Philipson is a local writer, and whether out at a restaurant or eating at home, she feels it's important to know where your food is coming from. And I think it's really important to know that there's a guy down the road, a few feet, maybe a few miles, who is growing your mushrooms, who is uh, producing your beef and do, doing it in a way that is um, sustainable and healthy for everyone. Jeff Feeney says this is just the start of a long, fruitful relationship of working with local farmers and food producers. The goal is, as we grow is to build on those relationships here because obviously now with uh, hitting the amount of people we get to hit, you know, and that's the plan down the road is to sort of focus on more and more of the organic, organic and local suppliers here. So I'm very excited about it. I'm Peter Burge in Abbotsford for The Express. Some other fun features of the new restaurant, a custom designed 600 bottle glass wine cabinet, as well as original artwork by Tony Baker, Andy Warhol and Graham Gilmore. You're watching The Express and still to come, we've got West Coast style, the wedding bells and these stories. After the break, it showcases the city, it showcases the sport. The West Coast Curling Classic. Pub boy, can I get a voice of boy? Kaboom yeah. box. I could eat 10 of these, 10 more of these, right now. <laughs> You're watching local TV really on the Express. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward. 